Hey guys, I'm back again with a special unboxing of the of a coach uh, briefcase. And as you guys know, I've been an avid sort of collector, but more a fan of these coach um, bleaker briefs. As well as there's a coach commuter that I also have. And it's basically the same as a slim brief, but just a double zip version with two pockets and uh, twice as wide and a bit more heavier. But I like the slim briefs because... For the modern day guy carrying just an iPad, a few few essentials, this is not the old school days where people carried laptops every day and bulky newspapers. Like I put basically, basically everything on my iPad mini. This is basically what I carry every day to work. And all my uh, newspapers, New York Times, Wall Street Journals, all fit in my New York Times, as well as books uh, on my iPad, as well as books and stuff like that. So because of that, I like the slim briefs. It's very, very uh, easy to carry around, especially New York City subways, uh, Metro North, whatever. It's very easy to, you know, just like, put in your lap and do what you need to do for a 30, 40 minute commute. So anyway, when, and the coach don't make these anymore. And that's why I do these videos because um, the newer bags are a lot different. It's the, this is the bleaker slim and coach now sort of modified it and they call it the Metropolitan um, Slim and the Metropolitan Commuter. Which the main difference between the old school bleakers and the newer metropolitans is the leather is a bit different, as well as the they got rid of the leather straps. So they don't do the leather straps anymore. They do like a cloth or canvas straps with the bags. And uh, so when this came online, I saw this really cheap, and I wanted this bag. I first saw this bag in 2015, and it just sold out right away. It's one of these limited edition things that Coach did for the I guess the legacy bag, um, signature legacy of the bleaker and um, this is a rare signature legacy of the bleaker because the newer ones they have it's a bit different the newer ones they look like this and that's what I mean with the cloth strap and you can see the signature um, embossed signature logo is a little different than what I'm about to show you um, just to give you an idea of what uh, coach sort of replaced this bag that's in this box with um, they first replaced it with this, and this was still, I believe, the bleaker, the bleaker model. But a lot stayed the same, but a lot changed. And two big changes was the C and the introduction of the cloth strap. And this was around, I think, maybe 2015 was when Coach put this out. And I saw this one in the store. I didn't like it, and I wasn't going to pay, I think they wanted $400 for this bag. I wasn't going to pay that kind of money for it. And the current kind of version of this bag is... The Metropolitan version, where the um, the C is a little different. I don't like the, the way the C looks. It looks like a Coach C. It's very in-your-face. And they have a Coach logo up there now. And this also comes with a canvas or cloth strap. And the C's wrap around the side. And I'm sure the seller isn't going to show this with a cloth strap because they want oh, $95. But still. Anyway, you guys get what I'm getting at, right? So let's get this out of the box and show you guys the original Bleaker Legacy Signature Embossed uh, Brief, Slim Brief. So it's a big box. Um, the only thing with this is when I bought it, the seller did tell me it's going to smell like cigarette smokes a little bit because it was stored all these years and unused. And beautiful is that coach don't even make these um, bags anymore. The... The dust bags, you don't see this anymore on the um, when you purchase stuff from Coach. So let's get this guy out the bag, uh, move the boxes to the side, get the camera in focus so you guys can see what I'm working with. And right off the bat, that is beautiful. I like how the C's are just round and symmetrical. It doesn't look like a Coach bag. It looks, it looks different. So that is really beautiful mahogany leather. Is what this is called and the bag I showed you earlier is a mahogany leather bag and I've worn this bag it's kind of beat up a little bit but that is beautiful it's a thick leather coach I swear do not make this leather anymore I don't know where they got this leather from and why they got rid of this type of really thick bridal leather the leather they have now they do different uh, stuff with the leathers they have a cross grain leather and a very stiff leather that 
for some reason, to me, it feels plastic. I'm sure it's not plastic, but it feels plastic. But this is a nice, supple... You can hear it. I'm just going to shut up so you guys can hear how supple that just feels. So the Zip hardware is very smooth in all these bags. But this is a limited edition Legacy Signature. So this was made, I guess, limited quantities for a limited amount of time. And once they sold out, that was it. You, you're not going to get one anymore. And I, what I like about this is the C's are just in in on this panel right there, but it doesn't um, cross into the support lines here, as well as the bottom. And look at that stitching, guys. It's like double stitched leather. It's like really good. I, I dare you guys to go into Colt store right now and see if you can find a bag in the men's section. I don't know what they do for women's as good quality as this bag. So it has the, um, the leather tags. I don't know if they do this anymore. <laughs> and this is even, look at the quality in there. That's like double stitched solid leather there. That's really good stuff. Um, the silver is actually a little brighter than I expected. It's bright, the silver on the hardware. What Colt used to do with the original Bleecker Slim and Commuter, the silver hardware was very muted and very um, sort of an antiquated. I'll show you guys up close. It was silver, but it wasn't like a bright silver. It's a matte kind of unpolished silver, but the silver here is just uh, very polished and very bright. I don't know if I like that, but I live with it. It's a beautiful bag in itself. Get rid of that. Beautiful leather strap. I love that crossbody strap. These straps are so comfortable, and I'm not sure why Coach got rid of them. And look at that. The Coach logo is on the little buckle. I love that. It's a nice little touch. Look at it. It's a quality bag, guys. This was, I think, retail for $4.98 or $5.98. I'm not sure what the pricing was this. Inside, you got the regular bleaker, um, slim, brief pockets. You got a nice zip panel pocket there. And that's really good quality. Look at that. The leather is stitching to the fabric. Look at that stitching, guys. You're not going to get quality like this anymore, Coach. And look at that. You even have a leather zipper pull there. I'm not sure if my other bleaker bags have that. I'm going to have to check. And I'll show you guys the... Um, the What do they call these things? The um, These tags. But this is from 2013. As you see, they're about a 13. I forgot what the L means. It's the month. And that's the production year. And then 71... Uh, 71045 is the model number on this bag. The seller did say the tags were, the bag's brand new, but the tags were inside the bag. So that's what you're looking at. The BLX Slim Brief Mahogany, SV means silver hardware. And outside you just have the zipper pocket with the pen holders, as well as uh, business cards or whatever, if people still have business cards. And you have good pockets all around. And this is a beautiful bag, guys. Not much more I could say about this. The leather quality is really, really good. Uh, look at that leather, guys. I mean, I'm not even sure if I'm going to use this or what. But I've always wanted this since I saw it. Uh, and I finally got it. I got it for really, really cheap, <laughs> mind you. I I'm not sure if the seller reduced the price because of the smoke smell. But it doesn't even smell that bad. Okay, I guess my o other bleaker bags do have that. But even a plain bleaker bag like this, look how... Look how good quality the inside is there. You're not going to find that on a current bag now. So that's it, guys. This is my quick review on this bag. They don't make these anymore. You're going to have to probably put a search in an eBay or online somewhere, or Pinterest, or Poshmark, I think, sell Coach bags from time to time. But it's a beautiful bag. I'm sad to say Coach does not have carry quality like this anymore. The bags they currently do sell are quality bags, but this is like old school, good quality that, you know, you could pass down for generations. <laughs> you know. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, more stuff coming.